When you decide that do-it-yourself renovation is what you want to do, the thing you don't ever think about is how much time it actually takes. Okay, maybe you're more experienced than me. Maybe you know exactly how long it takes you to do a task. But for me, now I'm still trying to figure it out. I have no idea how long this entrance is going to take. All I know is that I'm trying to find one hour every day to push this thing forward. But don't count the weekend that just went. There's a weekend off. I have one hour available right now. I have one bucket of clay. I have one wall. And the plan is in that one hour to put one coat of clay on here. Let's see how I go. Well, there it is, one coat, one hour later, and I did actually manage to get this one big section of the wall covered in one nice, thin coat of clay. I haven't done it perfectly, so it's neat, but I didn't try to perfect this. It's just the first coat, so there's smoothing and probably another two coats at least gonna go on here. So that's today's progress. And yeah, as I said, do-it-yourself work, it sometimes uh, takes a little bit longer than you imagine. I mean, if I was experienced, then it wouldn't be a do-it-yourself amateur kind of thing, would it? Then I'd be paid to do clay work, and then I hopefully would be able to estimate how long it takes me to do something. But that's not the case. So I'll be back here again tomorrow trying to find a little bit of time, and again during the rest of the week with more innovation on the way. If you've just come along now, you've discovered me in the middle of well, what looks like three parts of a massive renovation of the house. I'm nearing the end of part one, and there are two more parts to come. You didn't know that, did you? You've been here already watching all of this and you don't know how much more is to go? A lot. I'll try and give you a recap of where I'm at and what's still to come. Maybe in a month? <laughs> I just wanna get this finished first. I'll see you tomorrow.